There is no meme. This is just a threat. Alright, there is no time to do an intro segment. Cliff's gonna attack this soldier. He's gonna level up, and the level up is gonna be absolutely amazing. And it's going to make me come in my pants. <laughs> Welcome back to Sacred Echoes. Last time, we beat one and a half maps. And I'm hoping that I can keep up that pace, you know? It makes, it makes things go by... Nice and quick. So hopefully, that is how we are going to continue things here today. This episode, I'm hoping to get to Clive and the rest of the goons. Problem is, I don't quite remember how many maps are left to get there. I think it'll be one or two? Oh shit! Tobin actually doesn't reach that archer. At least not with the weapon that he's got. Oh, Claire. Why don't you just hand that off and... While you're at it, hand that off. And now... Ha ha ha! That's gonna go great. Wow, holy shit. Tobin is getting some good hits there. Hey, some more bow rank! Alright, let's move Lucas down to right there. We can't move anyone forward because that archer will steal their social security card number. Silk can talk to Gray. Oh, right, supports! I forgot about those. They added some. Er, wait. Oh, wait, that's Cliff? Oh, I guess she can just talk to Gray? Or did I miss look? No, no, I miss Saw. I thought it was for Grey, it was for Cliff. Now let's see, do we actually have a support, or is this bottom text? Oh, it's actual support! Hello, Cliff. Did you need something? I just wanted to talk. Is there a problem with that? I suppose not. I just prefer to not to waste my time with small talk. It's unproductive. How do you mean? Well, since you can't seem to get it, allow me to spell it out for you. I have no interest in people. Unless I can get something out of an interaction, I'd rather spend my downtime reading or studying magic. You know, just for that, next time I use you, I'm going to force you into a not-mage class. <laughs> well then, why don't we talk about magic? Or perhaps a good book that one of us has read recently. You can, but you'll be wasting your breath. We'll see about that. <laughs> Poor Silk just wants friends! And this hack, instead of, like, giving her a friend, went... Who is the worst person she could try to talk to other than Faye? And they correctly chose Cliff. Let Silk have a friend! But yeah, that is perfectly in character for both of them. That was pretty nice. Ow. There we go. Tobin has proved himself to be the dominant archer. Alright. With that established... Gorbachev, let's tear down that wall. Okay, so just everyone... Uh, Claire would like her shield back. Wait, did I get another Iron Lance? Yeah, that would have been very intelligent to put that on Claire. Oopsie doodle. But it will be fine. Perfect. Um, and then Alm, Lucas... Okay. I do not foresee the rest of this map proving to be too difficult. Could be a little rough, but I'm pretty sure I'll be completely fine. And then... Yep, let's just invite them in one at a time with Claire... Have, I don't know, who who needs level ups more? Three, three, but you're closer? Sure. We'll put you right there. We'll do an exchange where we can get Cliff to be the one who goes right there, and then Cliff and Faye and Tobin and Cl Like, they all can combine, and Claire should be fine. And we can start giving her experience so that hopefully she gets good level ups. Of course, 
past experience has said that's not what's gonna happen. But a man can dream. Oh, Cliff can just kill them! Wait a minute, Cliff can get a good level up now. Okay, there we go. This is what I wanted to see. And... There we go. There we go. Ooh, and he got thunder! That is most excellent. And sure, Tobin can just do this. Why are you a constant disappointment, Tobin? Why? For what reason? See? Nosferatu is more accurate than you, and that shit missed the first five times I used it. Alright. Let's just, uh, heal up. Cheat out some experience, you know, as you do. Ow. Okay, so if Tobin actually hits with his, um, with his archery, I can give Claire this kill. Which... I think going for one hit with the steel bow, yeah, I think that's gonna prove to be a bit better. And now Claire just kills. Oh my god, yeah, so she does. I don't think that's going to be a level up. Yeah, no. But killing that Merc is going to be a level up. So heal him up. And then just hit end turn. Yeah, we're using turtle strats. Do I care? No. And look at that. I think this is the first unit I have that a Merc doesn't double. God bless. Alright, so I need to get him down to 5 health. Do I have the power to do that? Let's see, that'll bring him down to 7. 5, mm. Tobin needs to hit, though, which is the problem. Eh, case in point. Hmm. Oh, wait, do you have a vulnerary on you? Ha, ah, you're poor. Alright, so I just hit him with Thunder. That brings him down to 7, and then Claire... Or, no, I just need to use Fire. Yeah, I use Fire, and then Claire attacks him. And then on the counterattack, she'll kill him and probably level up. There we go. I'm a genius! Whoever chose to use the Arena theme from Sacred Stones for this... Very, very good choice of music. Okay. Now, Claire, please, let your second level up be better than the first one. Come on. Give it to me, come on. I, I mean, the speed is good. The speed is good. It's about pretty much all I can hope for. Oh, Cliff is capable of just soloing things now. Alright, sure. We'll let Cliffy Baby start taking over. I did this. You know? I deserve this. I had faith in my units, and that was wrong of me. I need to apologize for that. I just figured it was worth a shot. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I lose bow uses. Alright, now for our final battle up here... He has four attack speed, which means Lucas does double. Lucas' defense is eight, his attack is thirteen. Actually, I think I'll give this to my healers. Like, I'll let fit. Well, God, what is the accuracy? What are the odds they even hit? I'm, uh, I'm gonna see into the future and go not very likely. Oh, they can support! This is pretty much the exact same thing.
Oh, they changed this! They actually changed this, so Faye is less of an asshole. Huh. Alright. The developers of this hack looked at Faye and went, I can fix her. Which, good luck. But okay, sure. Yep, and eat shit, Mr. Soldier Man. Magic has set accuracy. Unfortunately, that set accuracy is really bad. Uh, white magic, heal up. I meant to heal up Cliff, but sure. Uh, I mean, it's slightly more likely that Tobin hits this than his last attempts. Hey, look at that! Hmm, unfortunately, Tobin needs to kill things for him to actually, uh... Up, 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 uh, level up. Which is exactly why I opened that door. <laughs> you thought I was going to spare the life of that fighter over there? Or, soldier, excuse me. No. He, like everyone else in my path, deserves death. Alright, let's just start, you know, attacking. There we go. And now you. Nice! Nice! Alright, what do we got, Faye? Not nice. Okay, things... Things are rough out here in these streets. Oh, hey, they can support. One of those useless trinkets. Shouldn't bother before you do is drop them. Sky Who the fuck are Skylar and Red? Oh, um... Siblings, right. Tobin has siblings. Skylar and Ren, those are unique names. Maybe names of someone on the development team? Isn't a weird kid like you. You are still children. Well, no, wait. Yeah, no, Cliff is. Cliff is 15, isn't he? Look, Cl <laughs> Yeah, Cliff is kind of an asshole. He doesn't get as much shit for it because Faye and Silk's support is right there, and his only support is with Tobin. But you ever read his support with Tobin? It's kind of a dick. But you know, not as Big Brother Tobe. Somehow that sounds dumber than Toby Poo, not gonna lie to you, buddy. I didn't hear a no. That's that a boy, Tobin. At a boy. Um, I guess put him over there. Up level's gray. Level four, he's pretty much fine. Okay, Lucas, go right there. Equip your lance. Draw them out. We are going to want to get the kill with Tobin, so that he can snag that there. Level up. Okay. Uh, following this, I want you to weaken him. Damn it. I want you to... There we go. Alright, level up for Silk. That's good. That's not good! Jesus Christ, ladies! There's more to this game than luck. Fine. You're that uppity girl I locked up, huh? You will pay for daring to imprison me! Do you know who I am? Not a clue. Insolent troglodyte, mangy brute, you pillock, you... The word pillock sounds like a slur. Then again, you can make any word sound like a slur if you enunciate it the right way. But that definitely... It's probably because it sounds like pollock. That's probably why I thought it was a slur. Regardless, Claire, honey, I'm gonna need you to not miss. I wanna give you this kill. All right, you're not cooperating. You're really not cooperating. Holy hell. Okay, no, we're fine. Get fucked. And hey, while we're at it, get fucked. Lucas is pretty close to uh, leveling up. I can probably get him tonight. 
at the first promotion spot. Alright, so let's see. You, I need him down to six health. I feel like Gray... Yeah, Gray and Lucas can combine for that pretty easily. I just really need them to not get a critical hit. As long as they don't do that, this map is as good as done. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Ow. Yeah, boy. Alright, so. Tobin. My dear, sweet summer child. Don't fuck this up. Thank you. Now, my dear, sweet summer child. Don't fuck this up. At least strength is more relevant than luck. Alright, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll stop being greedy. Alright, I believe in you, Silk. Wow, that actually worked. Huh. There we go. This map is conquered. Woo! Look at Claire. There she goes. We have saved her. Huzzah! She will now kill things forever. I hail. Where do you hail from? Well, I hail from an ice-type move with five power points that covers the whole field in ice for five turns. That was terrible. That was... That was bad. <laughs> God, I do... Echoes is very good at, like... Writing horribly out-of-touch rich white people. It's like... Pretty damn good. Like, and it's not the same way. The way Claire is out of touch and the way Clive is out of touch is, like, different. But they're still out of touch. Out of time. I need to stop just making references to things from, like, decades ago. God, that's one of my favorite lines. <laughs> okay. Smothered in manure. I... <laughs> God damn, Gray. God damn. Alright, so they have added a bit more. I like it, I like it. Alright, next up... What the fuck happens now? Okay, hold on. There was something I wanted to do. Well, no, I don't have to do that yet. I wanted to... Th I was thinking about... Giving Claire the, um... The talismans. Because, you know, the idea is she'll fly around and attack mages a lot. And her res is good, but it'd be even better if she was outright immune. But I think I don't have to do that yet. Because I haven't faced any magic users. So there's no point in worrying about giving her the talisman. Instead, this... What was this fucking map again? It's the one... No, excuse me. It's the one right before... Is this the one where it's just... You're in a forest scattered about and there's like one fort in the middle of it? I believe so. Outside of the miracle of the goddesses, most people would never see one. Incredibly rare and fickle creatures who... Wow! Oh, okay! Oh, is that why they explain why there aren't many Pegasus Knights in? So... Alright, well, looks like there's a fort. And we'll kill them all. It is a very wise usage of our resources. We're going to go and kill them all. What, like, what more do you want, Lucas? Ah, oh, Lucas... A shame that you're trying to be a dad to a group of people that don't... Yeah, I don't remember this. Oh, hey, a female generic. Fire Emblem very rarely uses those. Ah, ge re keeping the spirit of Echoes alive with our generic portrait usage. Alright, looks like this is mostly not a problem except for you. 
Should be fine, though. Should be fine. Okay. So we are definitely moving Lucas over there. And we're just going to set up a defensive front with Lucas and Claire. And unless the game gives me a reason to run over to that treasure chest quickly, I gotta do that. Alright. Let's check the time of the episode to make sure that we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna go. Okay. You just run up, stab him with your lance. This is going to result in a level up. And I'm not too sure... Well, Lucas has good strength and defense normally. So sure, get neither of those. Um, hang on. I can do good damage because Cliff is now, like, nearing the point where he can run away with things. Which is beautiful. Uh, watching a Cliff reach the peak of his power is just divine. Truly. Um, Bay, I guess? I made the right call. Bay was good. You know what? I said I was gonna set up a defensive formation. Why? Why not just kill them all? I think that will be a much better usage of my resources. And then Claire can fly on up. She will be in a position where she takes some damage, but I don't think I give a shit. Because that archer over there does not have a named weapon. And enemies with named weapons are the only ones that get effective bonuses on Pegsai. At least I believe that's- I'm pretty sure that's how that worked. Am I horribly wrong and is it going to kill me? Science says probably. Alright, so let's not incur the wrath of literally all of them at once. I just want the wrath of most of them at once. Yeah, with the power of the shield and Claire's innate speed, these guys just tickle her slightly. She is a strong, independent woman who doesn't afraid of anything. Especially not that fucking guy. Alright, those Cavaliers might be a little problematic. But I don't, I don't really see that being too big a deal. Alright, Claire, just finish off this punk. Excellent. Now, the problem is actually dealing with a mercenary is not the easiest thing in the world. Except if you're motherfucking Lucas. That's the exception. Oh no! A critical hit! Whatever am I gonna do? Yeah, fucking off yourself, you goddamn bitch. Alright, I can do this. And then almost kill, and then Tobin can, like... Yeah, okay. So Cliff can go up there and kill him. I would then move, I guess, Alm? Yeah, Alm up to there. Oh, jeez, what are you doing? 9 damage? 12 damage? You're actually weaker. So, yeah, okay. I move you to right here. That is very bad. That... That... is bad. Alright, fine. The whole point of that was that now I could have killed that archer with Tobin. Unfortunately, I can't anymore. So I'm going to have to just... bring her low... and then cry myself to sleep. I think that's the appropriate reaction. Now, leaving that Merc alive is not going to be a problem as long as you hit. And then Gray can just go up and, okay, okay, fine. That's not what's going to happen. Did I say that you were going to hit? I meant that Faye was going to hit. Alright, so both of you missed. 
So that went just about as bad as it could have. Because I literally only needed one of them to hit. Okay. That's fine. Right? Like, no, none of that's that big a deal. We'll continue moving you over. I definitely didn't fuck myself. See, look. No problems came whatsoever. Alright, so Alm is about to get attacked by a lot of things. But he's Alm. I don't foresee it being that dangerous. Bam. Followed by a bam. Alright, there we go. Viva la bam, baby. I used to watch that show a lot as a kid. Which, first of all, I don't know if I should have been watching it as a kid. But... What the fuck happened to Bam Margera? I remember... He was one of Tony Hawk's friends, right? He was in Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I wonder what the hell happened to him. Alright. I think... You know, Tony Hawk's popularity is pretty crazy if you think about it. Because he's a skateboarder. That isn't really a job where you would think people would get a lot of notoriety. But, like... Sure, he's not the biggest celebrity, but if I say the name Tony Hawk, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, maybe it's just the circles I'm with, but that doesn't sound like like a skateboarder would be that guy, you know? Let's see, what level are you? Four, six, three. All right, Um, I can probably combine for it. No, I can't. Okay, all right, uh, fine, fine. Okay, let's... Okay, if I Iron Lance you... Yeah, and then Luke... Then Claire can ride up and kill. Lucas is looking a little low on the health points, though. It looks like I'm actually going to have to use my, um... Ba -ba -bum. Uh, my healers to heal instead of kill. Which is only mildly upsetting. Alright, there we go. Now Claire's gonna get a level up. She's gonna get strength, so she does more damage. Holy shit! The game actually listened. Wow. Alright, white magic. Heal up Lucas. Um, Tobin... Damn it. Tobin can weaken this guy, and then Gray can just come up and kill him? Actually, no, I'm gonna let Alm kill him. You know, g give some love to Alm. I've been using Alm surprisingly less than you would in a normal run. Normally, Alm has, like, slaughtered way more innocence than he's been doing. Heal up Gray, and then slap that motherfucker on the front lines. Excellent. Get fucked? Oh, that's right, I haven't been using the Lesbian Thief very much either. <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Lesbian Thief. I don't know why that was funny to me, but as soon as I said that, that phrase came into my mind. Yeah, Percy Jackson were good books. I read the original five... And then I started to read the sequel series, and then that's where I fell out. For what it's worth, I don't believe the books or anything fell off. I just fell out of them. I don't, I don't read as much as I used to. Probably should. Let's see, what's your attack speed? 11, 10. Alright, I don't get doubled. I'm fairly certain I won't die. So there you go. And a level up for her. Alright, let's see what we got. Those are indeed stats for a thief. Alright, um... So I'm going to need to use Cliff to weaken enemies. Kind of become his purpose. It's kind of become his purpose. Which I think is fine. Anyone close to a level up? 
Gray and Alm, okay. So I want Gray and Alm to get these kills. Which should not be very difficult at all. At least I don't think. There we go. Down to 12. What do you use? Oh, you have a javelin. Oh, that might be mildly spooky. And again, probably not. And stab. You know, the funny thing about the GBA generic female cav... In fact, I believe the female cavalier model literally only exists for, um... For Amelia in Sacred Stones. I don't believe a female Cavalier exists anywhere else in all of the Game Boy Advance games. Which is really funny because, as you might be well aware, Amelia has short hair. Her, the Cavalier model, created specifically for her, has long hair. For some goddamn reason. I don't understand. Like, if you went through the trouble of making the model specifically for her, why does she not have the appropriate hair color? Oh my god! Silk! Beautiful! Like, that doesn't make any sense. You had to make a model from the ground up. Couldn't you have gotten the hair right? I don't know. Fire Emblem is weird sometimes. Let's just do this. Yeah, no matter who he attacks, he's gonna get fucked. Ow. Okay. Enemy phase. You're gonna, you know, miss. Alright, well, you know what? I deserve that for my arrogance. And you're... Yeah, no, this is gonna be fine. No doubling, though, which does make me a little sad, but, you know. Going after Grey, huh? That might actually level him up, which would be great. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. And there we go, a good Grey level up. Grey is the only bitch a man can trust. Alright, let's get Akantha out of there. Yeah, like, way out of there. Um... Alm can move to kill this guy now. Yes, perfect. Bam! Got him. God, I... This game is like, hey, what if all of your units weren't immediately 100% killing machines? Which is a problem that plagues some Fire Emblem games. Um, Ghasts hack bloodlines... Addresses this, that game, your units do not often just run a one-man killing spree. The higher difficulties of... Shadow Dragon and New Mystery operate on this. Though, the higher, higher difficulties, I think, go too far in another direction. Like, in general, Fire Emblem units are really fucking powerful. I feel like we could stand to do a little less of that. Owie. Yes, yes, swing your sword again. Alright. Now you're going to shoot me? I don't care. Perfect. Um, um... Yeah, Alm can weaken this guy, which will get him the single point of experience he needs to level up. Also, funny that I said units in this game aren't often one-hit killing machines and then immediately cut to Alm. 
Because that is what Alm tends to do. Um, who do I want to get the boss kill? Um, oh, Faye could probably do really good with it. Yeah, let's let's do Faye. Damn it, that that level up of speed. God damn it. Okay. Cliff, stop being a one man killing machine. Tobin! I believe in Tobin! That was a mistake! No one should believe in Tobin. Oh, the Iron Lance can just... Ooh! Ooh! That looked nice. I like that one. Um, this sword has... This sword. This wall has too much health for my liking. I cannot move Claire forward. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can't do that. Claire will die. Alright, let's just... Let's just... Let's get the crit. See? Look at that. Perfect. Um, you are going to want to help Lucas. Okay. Enemy phase. We're fast forwarding a bit here. Mainly because, you know... I'm just spamming the same strategy against a boss over and over, and hoping that it works. And what are the odds that I hit three... High. The odds that I hit three are high. Nice! Let me guess, a single point of luck. No, holy shit! Everything's turning up Fey. Break down that wall. Alm can start this. And I am pretty sure the thief girl can end it. After I give her a nice bit of healing juice. Courtesy of Silk. And here we go. Damn. Fine. No, it's fine. Ow. Alright, well, I'll just kill him next turn. Is anyone close to a level up? Level 6, level 5, level 5, 5, 5. Nope. And so, it looks like I can just give it to anyone. I guess I'll move Lucas down there. Yeah, sure. Ow. Okay. Now, who do I want to give the kill to? Like I said before, oh, hold on, open. Oh, the Thunder Sword! I was wondering when that was going to show up. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, he has a beast support with Celica and Mycin by default. That's cute. Uh, sure. Like I said, I want to get to level 7, which is the threshold for first promotions, at least with Lucas. And that will give him enough that with bonus experience, he'll be completely fine. Now let's do my favorite part of a map. Just bomb a fuck ton of heals for free money. I'm not going to do that forever, which you totally can. I'm just going to do it for one turn. Oh, hey, support! Really, I can't, though. I can't express my gratitude enough for getting me out of that burp bind in the shrine. Reputation to uphold. You know, a dashing no good who steals anything that isn't nailed down. For criminal rescuing dancels left and right. Oh, come on. Be a nice person. Silly girl. Life's boring without a juicy... Oh, yeah. I... Silk does like gossip. I've heard the stories about a certain hard-drinking, gambling woman who frequents... Oh! She's like Saber, but gay. And if you go to Archive of Our Own, that's just Saber. Alright. The mother is always watching. Church girls. Let Listen, Silk. You can't tell that woman, oh, think about the church. No, 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 no. Let the bad bitch be a bad bitch. You can't take that away from her. It's not right. Anyways. We have this... Everyone got a little bit of extra juice on top. And that is Fernand. 
Yep. Wow, Fernand looks clean. All the sprites look clean. Who is this rabble? Right. Right, Fernand is a little bit of a dick. He has trauma. You know, it's fine, Fernand. You're totally going to learn from your past wrongdoings and accept that you're classist as shit. This will definitely not come to you too late when you're on your deathbed. You're going to learn this lesson very easily. Fucking Alm. God, alright. So this looks about to be the same. I'm just not skipping it because I wanted to make that joke about Fernand. I absolutely... Fernand is very good. I really don't understand how Echoes can write great original villains like Clive, Burkut, and whatnot, and then fumble the bag so hard. Oh, they're actually going to let us use Fernand before he gets the fuck out. Alright. You poor dears must be- She even talks to them like they're children. Like, Claire is so out of touch. Did something change him? Uh, I don't know, pay- f Uh, you gotta pay 15 bucks for the DLC to get that explained to you. I think. I'm pretty sure Fernand's backstory is just in the DLC. Regardless- Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Oh dear. This episode went on for 40 minutes. Ah oh well. I like to try to end around like 30s, but you get 10 more minutes of me today. I am also going to make sure that I put that Levin Sword in Grey's inventory, because if I don't, I am definitely going to forget when I start the next episode.